So today we're looking at Pascal's polarization of light experiment. Um, we have our uh, red laser here, the two polarized lenses, um, our rotary motion sensor, and our high intensity light sensor here. Um, so I wanna, these are connected to our 850 interface. Um, I wanna point out a few things. Um, so the rotary motion sensor is here and you see that the wheel for it has to be on the inside so it's directly underneath the polarization wheel. Uh, this, uh, what you call rubber band, um, belt storage, belt, it goes, initially should, can be stored here. And uh, the two screws to connect the rotary motion sensor are usually, they're here. Uh, so I just wanna point that out. Um, another thing on the high intensity light sensor, you wanna put the, uh, sensitivity on the lowest setting so you can see that bottom one there is pressed uh, that means it's the least uh, th that way we'll get the best data for our setup um, and on the screen here we're actually using sort of gonna, we're using capstone and uh, capstone i'll click the hardware tab uh, it should see our 815 it should automatically pick up our two sensors so I'm going to click on sensor data. And um, here I want to set light intensity versus uh, the angle. So our polarized lenses, um, you'll see that I have them both at zero at the top. So zero and zero. And if I look on our little wheel here, um, right now it's letting the light through to the sensor, but if I put this here, you'll see that the, the laser is pretty bright. Um, so when it's zero and zero, there's no difference in the angle of the lens. The light is just passing through. So let's go ahead and hit uh, record here. And you'll see this little dot. And as I start turning this wheel at the top, the rotary motion sensor turns and that data is being reflected here. So as I turn it, we'll see, that's about right back to start. So you see at a 180 degrees, um, the light is back to going all the way through. And if I turn this, rotate this to about 270, we should see the point being at, the intensity being at zero. And I can, scale this using the icon here. And I can just keep rotating it. And that will keep uh, on drawing the graphs on our screen. So that's a quick run through on how our polarization of light experiment works. Um, one other thing, before you even connect it to Capsule, and you can actually turn this wheel, uh, aperture wheel here, and as I turn this, I can see the light. It's hard to tell on the phone as it's getting brighter, but now you can see it getting dimmer as I turn it. And then as I start to keep, as I keep going, it's getting brighter and brighter and brighter. So yeah, it's very easy to set this up and very uh, quick to get data from it. So there you go. Thank you.